the guys is Jimmy Bremner and Dexter the dog faced boy on the urban trail. And it's been raining here for at least three days, I want to say four days. That said, it's quite mild today. I'm going to say six to seven degrees. And as I said, you double it and add 27. So we're around 44, 45 Fahrenheit um, today uh, because there's a mist coming down. You probably can't see it, but we're out on the trail. I have my Tasmanian Tiger poncho. Again, all the seams are welded. Doing a great job. And just over to the side here, we're doing a, a pot of tea with my canteen cooking cup and uh, my little uh, pack stove with the hexamine tablets. It's on a sand bank here. Again, there's no risk of fire. And like I said, it's so wet here. You know, other than that 20 minute road flare, I, I'm not sure I even get if I'm going. But like I said, it's all safe and we're just making a pot of tea. You guys always, the comments are great. You're like, Jimmy, you're making a pot of tea. How do you put your lips? No question. Duct tape. So I always have duct tape on my canteen. And I take that off and I put it on the rim of the canteen cup. And uh, you don't burn your lips. So, you know, you have to be thinking of those types of things. Uh, you know, really, I'm just doing a catch-up. I hope you all had a great holiday. Uh, we're coming into New Year's shortly. Uh, be careful when you're out there. Have fun. Uh, you know, get a cab, have a driver, all of those things. Uh, but, you know, have fun and do things sensibly. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to cover a few things right now. Like I said, I talked about winter whites, but as you can see, we're, you know, we're not getting the snow for a while now, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but everything's woodland behind me. And then, so you ask me, well, like, why do I wear the, this type of hat? Well, because when you pull the sides down, it, it covers the most recognizable part of a human being is the head and shoulders. And it covers that, and that's also why I wear my big scarf all the time, because I can kind of balloon this up, and you can't see it. That shape, right? So you recognize people actually at distance by their gait and the way they move before you see their face. You get so used to how the people you know move you can see them, you know, from a, quite a distance away and identify them. So it, that, that form is uh, so important when, when you want to conceal yourself. So that said, so how do you move around? So there, there's, there's, a, there's a few things, okay? So um, something called dead ground, okay? And if you look at terrain, there's hills, and valleys right if you want to move you know conceal you move in the ravines in, in the dead ground where people so there's a hill right you can't see what's on the other side of the hill and that's where you make your movement okay um, so, again, there's a number of ways to do this, but you have the, the way, yeah, is it slow? It can be slow, right? It depends on how much dead ground or concealment that you have. Right? It's, it's like, like this, then it's like a low crawl. If it's like that, then, you know, you can move kneeling, crouched, some people call it a leopard crawl. You can you can move a bit faster. If it's like that, then you can get up and run. Okay, but it all depends on how you exploit 
what is called dead ground and uh, you know that's how you move fast so I'll close with this um, I'm still rocking the, this rocks on tool here in fact I used the uh, as a built-in ferro rod okay as a built-in ferro rod there and um, it has the uh, It has a saw on the outside. It's quite robust. And uh, all this, like this black anodizing that they put on all these tools now, you actually have to scrape it off before you can make a spark with it to light your, you know, hexamine tablet to make your cup of tea. What I can see with this is. Um, Eventually, see, eventually, I'm going to have to put a piece of tape on there to hold the rod in because, uh, in fact, once I scrape the, that coating off, it barely holds itself in there. So, um, you know, rocks on if you're listening, you need to do something about how that. Uh, holds in there because you'll lose it so uh, that's it it's me and Dexter the boy is up on the hill there watching out for things and uh, listen I, I appreciate all your support all the time I did a drop on uh, LinkedIn the other day about bolo gear or jackets I, I have bags and things coming in I, I, I'll be at SHOT Show I'll be walking the floor if you want to talk you want to have a meeting uh, you know you know how to get a hold of me. I'd be happy to talk to you, sit down with you. Today, it's a bit, uh, like I said, a bit mild. So I'm wearing a, one of our Bolo Gear jackets. And uh, that's it. So it's me and Dexter the boy on the 416. And uh, we're out.